here we go. This is an avicular horse here. Uh, from current slide. This is an avicular horse. P2 copper bone, navicular bone. This here, what you see is DDFT. You see some ligament parts here. These are remnants of ligaments. This is just adipose, uh, uh, mixoid tissue, and that sort of stuff, but there's no ligaments at all there. And so, and that's all, I believe, all due to the vibration. So there's not enough vessels there and everything like that. So when this foot is supported, uh, it can't really, or on the ground, it really can't support this navicular bone. So then what happens? Then you start to see this tissue here, this is a navicular, another navicular horse. These hemorrhage there, the vessels are hemorrhaging, damaged. And what you see, this is fiber, uh, the DDFT, the connective tissue there are, are, are pathologic. And this is just another one. The digital cushion through here, there's no ligaments at all in this horse. They just say remnants of it. And you can compare this foot versus this foot. You see how thin those are compared to this. And it, here what you see is just remnants of, this is just fibrous tissue going across. This is larger pieces of fiber cartilage. What are we looking at here? This is the same thing, but it's been horse diagnosed in the vicar. You've got navicular bone, uh, coffin bone, DDFT. These are these ligaments, but what you see, they're very disorganized, what you see here. And some of them, it looks, really looks like hamburger here. And there's mixoid tissue all the way around. And these ligaments are damaged here. They're not there. And you see this uh, aspect of the DDFT is being... Uh, it looks like hamburger to me. So it's not just the navicular bone that's having problems? No, no. Navicular is to me is an entire foot problem. Uh, and this here is a, another foot. You can see this stuff, but this is off to the side where there's less damage. But the ligaments they're frayed. You'll see, when you look under the microscope, they're they're beginning to unravel. And this was an eight-year-old that was diagnosed with navicular. This is a twenty-year-old horse. DDFT is here. The swollen areas here. These are the ligaments that are very robust. And that's kind of what I want my horses to have. So it's like a training shoe under the navicular. Yes. Bone. Yes. Uh, and this is another horse here. This is the mixoid tissue here, the yellow. And when you look at these navicular horses, this is a 25-year-old one that doesn't, that has these ligaments here, but it doesn't, they're not very robust. You see all the mixoid tissue there. And even though this is 25. Uh, so it's less of a cushion for the navicular? Yeah, yeah. But this horse wasn't doing that much. What's the red area just under this? Is, this is those blood vessels that are there. They've become uh, damaged. This is the hoof wall, coffin bone, navicular bone, deep digital flex. This is the lateral cartilage. If you measure the width of that lateral cartilage here and here, then the width of the foot, this is a third of the foot. It's 36%, even in this picture. And these navicular horses, they're always less than 10%, and they're of the width of the foot. Most of them are down around 4 or 5 percent of the width of the foot. Thanks. Okay. And here what you see, these are these, another navicular horse, there's gaps here. This, this is just like hamburger. These ligaments here are just so disorganized and they're frayed because they've been damaged and there's no, there's no connection between this cartilage and the bottom part. <clears throat> when the bad foot is loaded, one, it can't support the weight because it doesn't have as strong enough ligaments and vessels, they're all damaged. And two, the vibration can't escape the foot, so it just becomes a continuous vicious cycle. This is very thick lateral cartilage here. If you add this width together and the width on the other side, it's usually 25 to 36, 37 percent of the width of the foot. This is an avicular horse here. There's no 
fiber cards here. This is just fibrous tissue, and there's no cartilage of fibrous tissue down here, and it's the same on the other side. If you add this thickness together with the other side, it's less than 10% of the width of the foot. And see all these vessels, they're on the inside of this lateral cartilage, whereas in these good fit, the vessels are all inside of the cartilage itself. So what's the difference if the vessels are in the cartilage or if they're by themselves? If the vessels are in the cartilage, that when the foot hits the ground, the vibration shock wave goes up through the heels. And then you see the relationship of this lateral cartilage is here. It comes way down here. This is part of the bone, the palmar process. This is the heels. So that vibration is transmitted through the lateral cartilage here. And so then it can get into the vessels to be transported out of the foot. When there's no support for the navicular bone, several things are happening. The bone starts to move on P3. It starts to sink towards the ground. The vessels are also damaged. And these vessels not only are, are providing support for the navicular bone, but they also nourish the DDFT, the, dis, the other ligaments that are there, and those are what you see on pathology of navicular syndrome. So it occurs uh, outside of the navicular bone itself, and it's beyond that pressure of the DDFT against the navicular bone. So it's all bad news. It's all bad news.